Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do, I wanted to say quick video, but they are not quick. This is my empties, the products that I have used up in April. It is insane that it's already May. Insane. Okay, I have some empties here. I don't have a lot, but um, I don't think I have finished any makeup this month. Oh yeah, I have a, a little bit. <laughs> so I will go through them. I have three declutters and uh, then I have used up some so I have this nail polish from Depend it is the glitter nail polish that I had or have had I haven't updated you yet uh, in my project polish it is too goopy to be used and um, or maybe I have I don't really remember but I will link the project polish up in the cards uh, or down below so you can check it out my last update. I'm going to film one very very soon, but I don't have an empty besides this one so far. But I really really liked it and now I officially don't have any glitter nail polishes or glitter toppers or something like this in my collection anymore. So that is really exciting because I don't like to take them off. I love wearing them, but taking them off and applying them for that matter is a struggle because they don't dry that fast. The next one is a lipstick and yes I did scrape out the remaining bit and then I chucked it because I didn't want to use it but I do, did use it up to the plastic. This is a small sample of the Urban Decay Gilded. Gilded. I think these were called the Revolution lipsticks. Some people do say they are better than the Vice so I I don't know. I haven't tried an Urban Decay lipstick besides this one. I wouldn't repurchase because it was this bright or oh, bright purple pink color. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase if I could. And I have too many lipsticks. Then we have the declutters. The first one you would know if you saw my drop 10 before summer. This is a body lotion I got from a hotel. It is from Mungabia with your Danish. I think you know the hotel. <clears throat> yeah, I put in the drop tin before summer project pan and then I was going to use it for the first time and it. Yeah, it stinks. It's quite awful. And it was very, very liquidy. Yeah, I don't want to use it. The next one, it is a mask. It is from Plasia. It is the clear up face mask for young skin. It is from Matas, a Danish drugstore. I'm almost done with this, so it's lower than, it's maybe here. So I'm fine with calling this done. I used this in the weekend, last weekend, whatever. And the next day I had two breakouts and I have stopped using the primer that I'm going to show you that broke me out because my skin was clearing up and then I used this and I broke out. So no more. And yeah, I have had this open for more than 12 months, so that is maybe why. But I had it I have it in my 19 and 19 project pan and uh, yeah. So I guess that is done. So I will call it done even though I am decluttering the last tiny tiny bit. So so I guess it's a use up, but you know what I mean. The next one is the primer that I have in my 19 and 19 as well. It is the W7 Prime Magic Anti Doll Skin Balancing Primer. And uh, yes, I was right. <laughs> in a month or so, I have been thinking maybe this is breaking me out because nothing in my skincare is breaking me out because I didn't use the mask. So I stopped using this and I have not used it for a week or maybe two weeks now. And my skin is clearing up for sure. So I'm just going to declutter this. I'm going to put it in my declutter drawer because I have only had it open for like four months. So if one of my friends wants uh, the last bit of primer I have left, they can get it. My skin is very, very sensitive. So I feel good about just giving that to a friend if they want it. This is a Svartskopf Gliss Hair Repair 1 Minute Intense cure intensive cure this is a small sample of a hair mask i really really like this and this line is so so nice yeah i did use up the shampoo and the conditioner in the same line it has the same packaging i reused the containers for traveling so they are in my um travel bag thingy i would really, really like this and 
uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy it again. I don't think Swatch Cuff is cruelty free because I'm trying to just buy cruelty free because why not? I have an inner struggle if I'm going to call myself cruelty free from now on because I still have a lot at, in my collection, in my beauty and makeup collection that is cruelty free, not cruelty free. Let's go on with hair. I have two more. This is the conditioner to the Tresemme Color Revitalize line. I used up the shampoo last month. So yeah, this is the conditioner. I really, really like this line. Tresemme, is that cruelty free or not? Let me know if you know. I don't think it is. But I really, really like this. My hair really, really, really like, it, like this. So if it's not cruelty free, I'm going to cry. Because that is the best conditioner and shampoo for my hair. Then we have the Batiste dry shampoo. It is for the beautiful brunette. Batiste is vegan and cruelty free. This is my third dry shampoo. I have not found a dry shampoo that works just as much as the Batiste one, so I'm really, really happy. I have the same one of the brunette version going, and then I have a dark one in my drawer. Right now, the brunette works for my roots because they, they are big. Um, but yeah, I will always buy that. Let's take the body butter because the rest is skincare. I have the, the Body Shop Glazed Apple body butter. Oh, here. <laughs> this is the last one that I have and I'm really really sad because this scent is amazing. Oh my god. I wish they made this every Christmas because this was the body lotion line or the Christmas scent 2015 because I bought it in Germany when I lived there from 15 to 16. And they haven't made it ever since. They have added scents to the apple. That's that's annoying, but I will clean this up and reuse the container for another body lotion because I don't like them in bottles. I actually really like the jar ones. I didn't think I would, but I actually really do. This is the Garnier Skin Active Pure Active Purifying Makeup Removing Gel, Turn One, blah blah blah. I don't like this. <laughs> I was really really excited when I used this up with it because then I could go buy an actual cleansing oil. This is a cleansing gel. It does not remove all of your makeup. I still had some left and it doesn't it dissolve your makeup if you can say it like that. No, I would not uh, buy this again ever ever ever. I had to try it to be honest but then I'm just like let's just do the cleansing oil because that removes Everything. Everything. I have the Placia Clean Up Foam, Clear Up Face Foam for Young Skin. It is the same line as the mask. I have gone through two of these now. I really, really do like it. I am trying to use something else right now. I don't like it as much as this one, but it was cheaper and I thought, let's try something new. I have a serum. I'm so excited about this one. It is so silly that I'm so excited to be ha have this done. This is the W7 Glow It All Multi Glow Serum. I have had this in my panning games, pretty pan, and I have used this on and off since the beginning of August, and I don't like this stuff. And the sad thing is that I have one more in my collection. I don't want to give it to anybody because it doesn't do anything. I don't want to give it to anybody. I can go through it, and I can actually go through it quite fast. I used uh, that much in two weeks, so it goes by really, really fast because there's not a lot of product in it. 15 milliliters. Yeah, I don't think that is a lot, but I never really got this into my routine. I, I just didn't. I don't. I don't like this because it does. It it does sink in a little bit, but I don't think it has any skincare benefits. I just think it is a glow thing for your face that is thin like a serum. But but yeah, this one has the blue tint. As you can see here, I have one with a pink tint. I like that way better for the tint, you know. It gives a beautiful shine and uh, illumination and stuff like that. But I would not buy that again because I don't need that in my routine. I don't need an illuminating or glowy thing underneath my foundation. I really don't. I can just use a highlighter, basically. The last thing I have is a face cream. This is from Estee Lauder. It is the Revitalizing Supreme Plus. Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. 
I want this in a giveaway so I did not buy this and I will never buy this because I am so cheap that this is so expensive. This has the... Yeah, it's empty, Elizabeth. But I really like the painting. It's beautiful. This had a cream to gel to like a silky smooth texture consistency. It was really really nice but weird when you are used to like a standard cream. This was like a mixture of all the consistency that you can have and it was really really nice. I did think I went through it quite fast. Yeah, I used it every single night. After I have used my face serum, what do you see? Apply all over face and neck, ideal after you repair serum. So I use the serum and then I use this all over um, and I really liked it. I didn't, my face felt moisturized but in a weird way because it was like a gel cream silicone consistency. It's really, really weird. That was everything for this uh, empties video. I really, really enjoyed most of these items, but I don't think I would buy anything again except the dry shampoo. Maybe this one in the future, then it will be the third one. Oh, I used this uh, cleanser morning and evening. <laughs> Oh, I'm so a mess. This is a pump, so it doesn't... It's not liquid and then it foams up when you use it. It's a foam when it comes out, so it's okay for your skin. If I could get the Apple Sunder Body Butter again, I would. But I will not buy a body butter again, but I will buy other body lotions from the butt shop because they're so, so nice. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below so for my next empties, which is going to be in a month. Otherwise, I am doing a lot of pretty pants on my channel. I have just started a new one and I am I'm really excited. And I'm wearing the Libby from that project pan today. The graveyard project pan. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and you are doing well. And until my next video, take care. Bye.